Okay, it's preparing, so we're live now. Um, I'll press OK. Well, hello, everybody. Thanks for waiting patiently. We've just been discussing exactly the tactical approaches, and um, some of you have, have joined us on our last mission, which was a huge success. And then um, cleansing and, um, but this is just like the first step basically. So on our last mission, the ship that was blocking the sun and it was sending out um, the dark source and I was putting divine shields over everybody, uh, divine shields and protections. And so that nobody can hear this transmission who's watching it or who's going to watch as far as outside frequencies eavesdropping in. We're just going to create a barrier so that it stays private and confidential. Um, but essentially, it was so messed up that these ETs had opened up a stargate to literally the equivalent of what you would call hell and Satan, um, dark creation itself. And we're sending it through the sun, through the ship, these dark source to all across the planet. And so had this gone on for any length of time, we would have been in a lot worse situation, but uh, we were able to successfully sneak onto the ships, disengage their security systems, and then the Earth Alliance came on after that, and we took out these ships. We downloaded their entire database, and this is where part of the mission comes in. Um, it, it, if anyone remembers, it was the Black Pyramid that we took. That had all their data. Yeah, so, yeah the, it yeah. was an amazing mission that we got all that information. So we know their ships. We know their lieutenants, their commanders. We know their access codes, their shield codes. We know their, where they are. We can track them now across all time, space, and dimension. So wherever they're hiding, we have all of this information. So this is the time where we just take out these dark ETs once and for all. And um, as well as we are going to be going into the heavenly realm within first and through our connected hearts that is connected to everything, we're going to back door every single being whether they're dark ets or humans whoever they are and we're going to literally bring all of heaven and we're going to blast it through our connected hearts to every being human et doesn't matter so this is going to create a heaven shooting frequency and heaven consciousness angelic consciousness and the angels all the angels are going to flow through us into everybody, including the dark ETs, which is going to shock the dark ETs, which is going to open up and heal and lift up the consciousness of humanity. And then we're going to go to connect with the Earth Alliance, who is going to guide us into any tunnel, any time, space, reality, and dimension where these dark ETs are. And with the Alliance, we're going to disengage all of these ships, take prisoners, rehabilitate them if they fight and we're having to defend ourselves whatever it is we have to do what it takes to stop these ets once and for all and it is just to move forward with the ascension after that but phil's got some things to say about the heavenly realm too yeah when, when if you if you're joining us because you, you might as well yeah if you feel it join us if you want to go on the battle later on ask while we're in the angelic world for source weapons and if your vibration is correct you will end up having weapons in your heart chakra now weapons that can be dark i suppose but when you're fighting you need weapons at the end of the day and these could be like uh, god sword and these are like uh, ray sword ray but you can slice and you can emit ray from them so it's your choice if you want to join us properly you know in the in the battle in the warrior work, but ask for it when you're in that when you know, and you might feel it going into your heart chakra. This is lo this is weaponry loans, by the way. It's not a, it might not be permanent. I don't know. I'm not hundred percent, but uh, you might as well uh, join us with the uh, with the weaponry uh, in the arms room in the angelic world. Right. 
anything else, mm-hmm. David? I can't remember. I think that's all of it, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah. we're we're definitely going to be guided. Um, we're going to be shielded. We're going to be protected by all of heaven. All mm-hmm. of heaven is with us, and um, but we're supposed to connect to it within ourselves and go into the angelic source and the angelic kingdoms to our angelic aspects. And we'll sort of just like, we're going to kind of huddle there. We're going to group there. Everybody's going to get their weapons, merge with their angelic selves and just get prepared with the legions of angels of heaven's angels to get ready to shoot through our heart chakras to every connected heart and then blammo blast with the angelic source. And um, once we're all comfortable, this amazing heavens flowing through all the constructs, then going to link up with some Syrian ships and we're going to go and see where they're going to take us. Um, You might, some of you are commanders of ships that are watching and so you might tune into your own ship and and go on to your own areas but you'll have the angels you'll have the fleets and they're not no one's going to put anybody into danger per se like so you'll always have battalions and like just t- tons of technology and sh- higher technology keep in mind the previous mission it gives us such an advantage because we can literally freeze their defenses on their ships, literally beam on board, completely take them hostage in that we are taking them to be like uh, rehabilitated, you know, um, because they're t- they have had warnings. They are not complying and they're still trying to attack us and change these things. And so now we're going to take it completely into our own hands and just deliver peace by means of force in this example. I, I just want—I just wanted to say, David, where, where the weapons room is in the angelic world, it's like a a crystal prism, a glass crystal prism portal. And if you see that, then just connect with it, and you'd be given something in your uh, your heart chakra. Okay. The sword, by the way, grows from your chakra into your hand, and you just see it growing. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Right, off, off to you. Let's start. Are we yeah, doing breath work first? Yeah, are we going to bring all the, all the our teams in, or are we going to do breath work first as we're bringing our teams in? Okay. Yeah, sure. Oh, we do breath work. Okay, you, you can lead us with the breath work. All right, just deep, deep breaths into your art chakra. Let's do this for love of earth, basically. Keep it there a bit more, bit more. Keep it there, and just think of think of the. Let's release earth and all the, and get rid of all the dark, and then just let it out. Breathe in again. Let it. Oh, I can see, uh, by the way, I can see the emerald dragons that are coming with us, so that's good. Breathe it in again. A bit more. And let it out. And I'm just going to call all my... Uh, all my team, my warrior team, and my healing team, just in case we need it, and all my aspects, and my guardian, and my protectors, Domin and uh, Aqua. And uh, so it is done. I am merging with my my aspects of Hermes, uh, Evra, and the Lemurian priest, and, uh, and also Raphael. So I've got Raphael's energy with me. And you, off to you, David. Okay, uh, I'm just calling in all that I am of light and love and peace. And then the archangels of peace, um, all of the ascended masters of light, the light beings, um, the eternities, uh, all of the devoted to love and peace who wish to assist. I'm just going to ask all of the hearts alliance of love. Um, to come or surround everybody with just tremendous joy, tremendous love, and tremendous protections throughout. So everybody knows there's nothing to worry, nothing to fear. Um, 
I do want to explain what I'm seeing just so that after we do get into the angelic realm and do this, um, I'm seeing dark portals uh, everywhere that are crossing through dimensions. We they've they've oh, they've targeted them. And so we're going to be shooting dragons in there first to clear off all the dark energy and they're going to transmute it. And it's connected to sometimes there's three, four, five, ten dark ships in different dimensions in another like parallel earth kind of a thing. And then we're going to go through all of these portals in one shot. Everybody is just going to go through them and with the Earth Alliance and we're going to seize all of the ships all of the we're going to capture them all in one moment it's going to be so quick and it's going to be like an, a, a surprise just a complete surprise and shock because they're not expecting us to trace their their wormholes that they're flying through um, but we've already locked it on we, we're, we're locking on all the targets we're going to be beaming some of the like the the, fl the flying crew who are flying the ships we're going to be beaming them off right at the time as we go through so they can't fly away and um, so this is all what I'm seeing around the planet. The Earth Alliance is surrounding the planet and everyone's monitoring and getting ready for this. So this is a really big, really big moment here. Um, I, I, I've been told is a starport or stroke Stargate on the uh, uh, South Pole, uh, Antarctica. Uh, and we need to take that out one of the first because that is a big thing, very big. It's a very dark starport which yeah. is the stargate to everywhere and it's a dimensional stargate so they can yeah. go anywhere in the so they could try and escape using this yeah yeah but well, we definitely want to if there are any ships in there we want to take them out quickly then destroy that you know what i mean we don't yeah. want them to to be safe on the other side and come somehow through another way of getting back to earth or whatever but we'll definitely take that yeah. out it's like sure. it's actually like cloaked but it's not, it's there, but human eyes won't see it very well. So it's going to be difficult, that one. Yeah. Yeah. But we've got, we got, we got our aspects with us, so that'll be fine. We'll be able to see it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's breathe into the heart chakra. We're going to call the angels of peace to come in front of everybody right now. These white light angels just to come in front of everybody and just to take their hands and know that you're loved, you're cared for, you're protected. Nothing bad's going to happen to you. Not even one possibility of bad's going to happen to anybody. And we're just going to breathe in to our heart and go into the white diamond light and the heavenly source energy within our heart. The angels are going to bring us into the heavens within self. And we're going to fly into this amazing angelic realm and heavenly realm within our heart energy of beautiful white light where all the angels are here. Um, they're giving us white spheres. Um, what is this? Um, they're transmutation balls. And so they're like holy grenades, but like a really cool version. You throw one of them, you throw one of them at a ship and then it, it turns into like a thousand white light balls that start transmuting all of the people on the ship. And then we can just easily capture them. It's literally going to be like a source. It's just going to shock them and freeze them essentially uh, when we go on there uh, how they load is it connected to your consciousness so you, they basically when you throw it they know it's got a bit like live hand grenades aren't they like consciousness hand grenades yeah and they blow up to like a like a thousand of the little tinier mm. versions of themselves it's pretty cool um so cool. the the heavenly realm is loading us up they're preparing us and so we're gonna intend to keep going into the heavenly angelic self and to our angelic versions of ourself and into the heavenly realms. And we're just going to breathe in and here we're going to create a big, beautiful heavenly frequency portal between all of us right now and the angels of light and peace, just illuminating all of our fields of light. So more and more angels are flying in your field above your chakras. They're going to defend your light streams at all levels. No one has to worry about anything. No dark can infiltrate this frequency and this protection. Just breathing up. There are many. They're fortifying our frequencies. Uh, they're creating 
an angelic barrier impenetrable cloaking field so that we cannot be seen we cannot be penetrated nobody can hear anything this is completely airtight uh, angelic source shield around us it's beautiful and now in heavenlies the heavenlies angels we're going to sit and we're just going to connect this beautiful energy to all of the angels breathe into our heart and exhale and everyone's going to merge with their angelic self and we're going to be sending in beams of love from all of our angelic aspects to each other, knowing that we're fully supported and loved. And we're just going to stay in this energy for a moment while we prepare ascending consciousness. So it's time now. We're going to open up the doors to our heart that connect to all the beings. And we're going to command the angels of source and the angels of peace through all of our hearts now to flood angelic source and angels into every being on this planet, cleansing, clearing, upgrading, healing, and all of entities, all of the ETs, all that is connected to the all because all are one. We're going to send angelic source to all purifying all light now now the divine mission it's going to begin we're going to join the fleet commands across the earth and we're looking at all of these portals some of them are bases on the planet and so in three two one dragons go through first and then we're flying through afterwards in one moment throw the grenade bombs at all these ships and all these people freezing the dark ships and the dark beings and retrieving, beaming down the Earth Alliance to retrieve all the commanders. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Phil. Our, our, our team's just taking this Antarctic in this uh, star thought down. Yeah, I, I've got a few, a few of the galactic. I've got the Andromeda commanders with us, so we we're taking, we're going to take that down so no one can uh, try and escape to another universe. I've been told. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how can you have another universe? Oh, another matrix, probably. All right, so we're going in now. Uh, this pyramid's all over the place, and it's uh, the actual area is shaped into like a symbol, and there's a like a circular, a bit like Stargate, of course. Uh, Stargate, there. it's like a, a star fort, and we, we and they, they actually, uh, they actually had an idea we were, we were here, I think, but we're going to take them down anyway. Uh, the dragons are going in first. The emerald dragons are uh, ascending divine ray to them. Divine ray is so high vibration. It's like it's not melting them, but it's taking them out. They just can't can't handle it. Uh, let's have a look. There's some some of them big reptilians there as well. We're taking them down. Uh, putting them up. If you ever kill a a being, you actually send its source to uh, send its consciousness to source. We're doing that now as well. There's a big battle going on now. I know. Uh, the start. Well, I'm at the Stargate actually. Uh, any ideas? I can take this out. <laughs> it's massive. Reprogramming. Uh, Reprogramming to self -dest um, Bring in. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Self destruct sort of system. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I've been told. Yeah, I, I think we can do it. Uh, yeah, I've got it. We, we're going to actually bring in something from the other side, uh, which will just blow, just take it out. Uh, yeah, we, we're taking a very hot planet, uh, land, uh, hot planet into it, and it's take. Yep. Yeah, we we've done it. We we right. We we good. We run it. <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of explosion there. Uh, there's a big battle going on. Uh, it's very hard to describe it as I'm trying to fight these beings. Just but so the the, mm -hmm. the star the stargate's gone. Uh, we we're going to take the starport because I think it's it's on a special dark ley line sort of field and they could rebuild so we're going to actually take the old lot down so they can can't build the dragons are now sending uh 
sending light bulbs into the area. It's all going, it's all going down. Definitely going down. They're trying to escape as well now. They're trying right. to take with the we're, ships. We're going to, we're going to just, we're going to yeah. just uh, self-destruct all the ships now. Uh, I'm connected yeah. to every single ship now in all these dimensions they've gone into as well. And we're just going to self-destruct. So we're going to leave off the ships now. Everybody get ready to evacuate the ships in three, two, one, leave all the ships and come out of the portals or coming out. <sighs> No. I think I got wounded a bit then. I got pain in my chest. Afterwards, I want to go to the Angelic Kingdom uh, to get a re bit of repair. Done. Yeah, sure. Um, I've got pain in my stomach. Oh. I keep on getting the message. Orion needs something taken out as well. Okay. I'm just dealing with the councils of Nibiru right now who have yeah. been um, claiming Earth this whole time, and we're taking them out. We're changing them out. The Diamond Light councils are coming in. We're seizing them out. Is that the Actually, on the Ark, isn't it? They are, they are creators, then. <laughs> Well, not really. You mean create? I mean, you mean create? Technically, yeah. in, a, in a way, they're more like yeah. they've created like the the uh, us away from our god genes. That's true. Yeah. Throne, dethrone, dethrone, Christ, 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 Christ. Yeah, this star part, something really big just exploded. The the old place is just gone, basically. No, that it's not there anymore. Gone. It's as though the uh, Stargate just pulled everything into it and it just self-destructed it was weird all right we just overthrow the Nubirian government and um the old gods all agreed and they've been taken out into another realm exiled from earth and this structure um they are going to be in their own way in a prison themselves um rehabilitated it'll take some time it's fine that's exactly what we wanted to happen okay so what were you seeing in orion you were seeing something in orion that needs to be mm. taken out let's see here scanning there's angels on all the stars right now. That is a first. They're watching. Um, they're assisting from a higher frequency. They're sending in diamond light love. Uh, oh, they're healing uh, the consciousness that just uh, created some an, uh, an evil being released. And so they're sucking it up and healing it out. Um if you want to say demons and entities, they're bringing them out of the collective right now. Um, so this is good. Uh, okay, what's going on in Orion, though? Let's see. Uh, it's some sort of system on Orion that they could use. They're trying to use it to gain human consciousness to Archon, merge it together. 
there's some sort of system on there that they're trying to so we become arc and consciousness and, and we'd leave out we'd leave the light so we took the dark uh thing but they've got a machine that they was part of it uh, and we just need to take all that out okay be a machine Don't get that. Okay. If you if you're joining us on Orion, just make you just make sure the protections there. Just think of it, uh, and do a cleanse afterwards, and do some drinking plenty of water because this is quite a dense land. Yeah, let's let's blow this so, thing up. Let's just blow it all up. Yeah. Um, contain it into like a field and yeah. just just implode it. You know what I've just done? <laughs> I've sent what? love into the arc on consciousness. Yeah. <laughs> that'll, that'll hurt. So. Oh. Yeah. Let's all send more love into the arc on consciousness. Let them, let them be good to change. Everybody can just take a deep breath. Everything is fine and just exhale love. You send it into the arc and consciousness. And I'm just going to tap into the future and bring in another 10,000 light ships because it looks like we just need a little bit more support here. Okay. You know, I've, we, I'm doing this, and sometimes I forget I'm actually here as well. <laughs> I'm getting getting involved yeah, too much. <sighs> We just took a few uh, few beings on our look around trying to trying to stop us. Yeah. I also got a few prisoners. Um, we get gained some intelligence from the interstellar as well. These uh, the dark dealers. So these dark dealers are trading dark technology and stuff like that. So we're just going to go ahead and lock on them while we have all these ships, and we're going to take out all the dark dealers as well. Some of them are quite big. A huge, massive ship. Taking them out nonetheless. A lot of uh, this part of the Orion's burning now. They, there's a big battle going on, and this is uh, this is just like a, a, a finishing war, man. I'm telling you, this is it. This is it. We're taking yeah. everything out now. A few ascended masters. One of them, she's connected to me, just letting out light coming out of his hands, taking everything out. It's it's like Star Wars, really. Is they've got some uh, equipment I've I've seen in the films. <laughs> so. Uh, 
All right, we can love grids to everybody now. Unity grids. The artificial intelligence program. I'm locked onto it. Here it is mm -hmm. on the bots. It's time to deactivate them. Deactivate them. The start for start for on the Orion. We're taking that out now. Take it all out. This is Take huge. everything this out. This is absolutely uh, huge. This is. This is probably uh, this is what's sending us dark energies of that. All these machines, there's so many of them. Oh, like shit, I had no idea it was this big. Oh, I got so on that. I just got injured again. <laughs> oh. destruct all these new interface these master nodes for the bots we are going to take control of them now sending the out source is going to take control of all the bots now taking in control of all of these bots the emerald dragon is taking happened. a thought yeah, this fort, this uh, it's just melting. All the flames are, are are going on these on this brickwork, and it's the brickwork is just melting. It must be high temperatures. We're taking control of all the technology. This is incredible. We're getting back control of all the technology that was taken. I was going to say it's just our wow. technology anyway. I know. <laughs> Oh. We we're actually battling some fifty foot beings that I think are have been created by the Archons. These are huge, like massive giant sort of beings. Yeah. They're angry as well. Bringing them to the light. Take them. We can shrink them down. Photons. Shoot them with photons. Taking them out. I think we got a little bit of attention today. Yeah. Let's just finish it. Let's just finish it. Let's not stop until it's all done. Staff on the Ryan's gone. Absolutely obliterated. Should have used them dragons at the Antarctic. Yeah, I know. Those dragons were crazy. It was like a yeah. dragon lasers. It was like going through their hearts. It's crazy. Yeah. They've got emerald darts, haven't they? So they're very, very, only very high dimensions. Have you got okay. any injuries, David? I've got an injured wrist of using me sword too often. No, but what? Uh, my stomach we're gonna... and my back. <laughs> we're and anyone, take... just join us. Just join us, by the way. Just bring them weapons out of your, your uh, heart chakra. See what you've got. You should have shields as well if you 
if you got weapons. On people in. Okay. Okay, powering down. Powering down, powering down, powering down. Shields down. Open source. Open source coming in from the dome. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring in walk-ins now. We're just going to bring in walk-ins to, we're going to flip out evil spirits, put them into the light and bring in walk-ins uh, to everybody that has evil spirits. There are humans with evil spirits in them. It's like... I mean, and not a soul is what I'm saying. So this is what we're doing. We're taking out humans that are being hosted instead of a soul. It's like a demon. And we're flipping them over into their, they make them. This, this is what I'm seeing here. They're, they've been making them clones and they've been doing these things to get evil entities inside of human clones. And so we're just replacing them all now with walk-ins. We we've gone we've gone from Orion now. That's been sorted. We're actually doing some work on the on the moon. Uh, oh, okay, you're on the moon. To do with the soul trap. Uh, yeah, let's finish this off too. Let's finish this thing off yeah. at the moon while we're at it. Okay. Okay, so you're you see, just going... inside. Inside is a lot of plasma technology and a lot of. Uh, the re it's the way it keeps us dark, basically. Even though the moon can shine really good frequencies, they also, because uh, uh, obviously uh, most people know that we're on a prison planet, so we're just going to t stop the cycle. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to leave that one up let's to you. Yeah. Uh, uh, just looking around, monitoring everything now. There's a building on the, on the main, a massive building. We're going to try and take it out, uh, and we're going to put a, we're going to put some on there to represent us. Uh, the Galactics are, are going to have a base there. Let's take over this base. Let's go for it. Oh. Thank God, there's a star fort on there as well. I can't believe that. Okay, I'm just taking care of some of the non-ship um, base stations now. I'm just going through those now, and I'm I'm just collecting all these ETs at the moment. There's a few that weren't flying, and um, we're just kind of watching. They're really not fighters. They're really not looking to fight, um, so we're just taking them away out of the bases and to the ships uh, to be rehabilitated somewhere else. They just there's. They're not really dark or light per se. They're kind of just been hanging out and waiting for, I guess, this to happen. Okay. This building now is being taken over by the Galactics. Okay. On the moon. Everything is looking good. We we can't we can't completely destroy it. We've destroyed the star fort, but we can't destroy that because it, if we did, it it uh, it killed many be many humans actually, but but don't know the the in the, the yeah it it messed the brains up. It emotionally it, it probably changed the frequency of the earth as well. We don't want that. Not too quick anyway. Uh, Eight point seven hertz. Well, as long as the galactics have control of it, no, that's what matters. Yeah, that's what we're doing. If we destroyed it, it would destroy a lot of you people. Because it's all, it, it's part, it's basically the, the moon's what creates most of the matrix. Yeah. All right. There's actually prisons under underwater. There, that there's some uh, prisoners, and we just don't want anybody on the planet anymore. Not even prisoners. So we're gonna take them off, in out of the planet. So we're just gonna get everybody out. 
who are related to these extraterrestrials now. Uh, Dave, I'm just going to the Angelic Kingdom. I need a bit of repair junk done. I've got a load of injuries on me. Yeah. Anyone who's got injuries, there's a repair place in, in the Angelic world that uh, can fix you. Even though we're in Astro, we, we're not in... It, the memory will come through. Uh, we'll it's just, already come through. It's we'll quite just, painful. We'll breathe it through now. And so I'm just going to ask the angels to come through all of our hearts now. Bringing healing to everybody's hearts, everybody's fields, purifying, cleansing, any damages, completely healing, releasing, pulling out any shrapnel or any inflammation, reducing all inflammation, healing all muscles, bones. Yeah, the Emerald Order, as you've said, just announced is sending downloads for everyone who's awake for ascension. So you might start feeling downloads. So it's coming off now. We haven't had a battle like this since Orion. This is deep, man. Yeah. This is a deep one. Reminds me of the days when we were clearing out the Draconians. You should feel these downloads in your heart chakra. This will help you waking up. This will help you ascend, ascension. I'm actually doing this on the angelic world. Uh, realm, junk realm, I know. Uh, this download is a, like a life force upgrade. You know, you might get more DNA strands. That's good, wouldn't it? The energy at the moment going through the light grid of consciousness is absolutely high power to the finest. I know. You should feel this now. It's crazy what is happening right now. Wow. 
some uh, some magic went through us then. You might have memories now coming through. I'm creating life right now. There was an inverted dark universe that these dark ones were mm -hmm. using. And so I've reverted it, but I've been connecting everything into the light and I'm just growing flowers and and trees and creating like light everywhere in this to completely put things back into its like alignment of source. And uh, it's just completely death and decay, but we're changing it. A lot of old beings are coming back into their heart here, and this will this will shift everything. It's literally been. I've been never... I've been told on the moon is a is a lot of a lot of uh, soulless clones that are connected to humans. The one I took off uh, a few weeks ago. This is where the energy is coming for that dark universe. Uh... They're feeding the energy and, and send it into that to create. That makes sense. We just we just getting rid of these clothes. They're soulless at the end of the day. Yeah, it's like get rid of them. Uh, mm -hmm. they've never really lived if, as such. Oh, this is good. All right, now everything in the dark universe is being brought to the light. And then they're going to have a totally different creation now. It's just going to be peace. It's just going to be source. It's going to flourish again with life. It's not going to be a dark universe anymore. Almost ready to close the portal. Yeah. There's some source creators that are going to take over. They're high titans of love. And so they're going to govern over the whole new creation of it. Everything's going to flourish, and the kingdoms of heaven are going to reign over this universe again. Since the fallen, it has fallen out of heaven's reign, but not anymore. Okay, now we can close that portal all right so let's focus again in breathing into the heart breathing into the angelic energies angelic source and just exhale and allow all this angelic energy to come in cleanse yeah, exhale clear. exhale exhale any negativity you might have really go deep we're going to bring in golden light cleansing Rainbow light, cleansing, like a shower of liquid light. And it's going to run over everybody's crown, all their chakras, pulling out any density, any wounds are going to be instantly healed. And it's just going to liquefy and go down your energy, down out the soles of your feet into Gaia. Then light beings are coming to merge with everybody as well. Upgrade all chakras, energy systems. Heavenly rewards are going to be coming in and activations, as Phil was saying. What is this?
Every, every fallen being now is coming back to the light on the universal peace accord. Um, everything is connected to the light now. Okay. I'm absolutely exhausted, David. Yeah, Yeshua is coming in to go into heart chakras now and bring about Christ's light, rejuvenating energies and everybody. He's bringing in his healing and his gratitude. You have done heaven justice. You have done the earth justice. You have done yourselves justice. Coming into great peace, connecting all to the light. The dragon's realms, the hemispheres, the chakra systems, the universal frequencies are all receiving updates, upgrades, going into heavenly bodies, heavenly realms, higher frequencies, neutrality, peace, out of density, into love and unity. Great transitions and shifts are occurring now in multi dimensions, not thought possible. to this moment and to this moment when it is done it is seen at the quantum level and all the dimensions is shifting it is grandeur you have done also incredibly amazing we love you we are uniting peace we are uniting love and bringing in healing into all of your energies bodies cells the neural interfaces energetic systems And you're going to continue to grow and advance as souls coming into enlightenment. The, okay, sorry. the galactics are actually sending uh, like a love frequency from the moon and the red flame, which takes any little pockets of negativity we might have missed. So we're actually being sent now excellent, good energy for change. Okay. And we're trying to clear the skies. I'm not sure what. I can't say it on here. Probably the cam <laughs> chemtrails and stuff. Yeah, con contrails. That's a joke, by the way. The dragon's helping us. These divine ones, the emerald ones, are amazing. That part's done. Mm -hmm. And now we're just going to start. to feel and connect to the solar flash energies a little bit of these energies calling them in now calling them in because it's ready to come in to come in to connect to these energies of purity we're all shifts in a moment We're going to start anchoring in the solar flash. I'm just going to breathe it all through. All of our chakras anchoring it in. Exhaling out the soles of our feet to bring the timeline in. Great all the systems to prepare for it across the planet. All parallels, dimensions, and realities. Yeah. 
Okay. There's also a frequency being sent out to try and gain everyone's power back. That would be a good one. The Emerald the Emerald Dragons are trying to do that now. Through the uh, light grid. I'm just going to guide everybody back into their bodies as this mission was a success yeah. and it is completed. So I'm just going to call back everybody's consciousness to be back to them. Cleanse, cleared, and healed back into your body and just breathe everything through. All of your chakras, exhaling out the soles of your feet, grounding the energies. Just know how valent you are, how much of a hero you are to the Earth's liberation. Truthfully, everybody that came here, most many of us descended to be here, but this is definitely the jewel of moments to be participated in. And so you are all being gratefully honored by the galactics, by the light beings, by the angels. They're polishing all your frequencies now. Adoring you, loving you, being so grateful of your sacrifice to be here to do this mission, to be here in this life to do all of these missions. to fulfill the prophecy of the ascension. The convent, isn't it? The promise to source that we get rescued. Oh. I need more easy, I think. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I've gone through the the waltzer, <laughs> 10 times. Well, it was like, this was the lead up. This is like all of the missions came down to this. It feels like Ender's Game, where it's like the final mission kind of like, and and then it leads to universal peace, except for in, in there, he was extend, extinguishing a species. Um, we were removing a species who were very dark um and bringing them into rehabilitation and removing all of their fleets we took out in the neighborhood of ten thousand ships on this mission it was not a small mission it was a very big mission um but we had well we had you know 20 30 thousand ships or so so we had it outnumbered and we had to, we just had to come with all of the numbers. We even brought in future Calvaries just to assist just because it was, there was just too many final things to do. And hmm. wow. That's a big one. Finally get rid of all these beans. It's like, my God. I'm tired. I might, I might get some sleep tonight. Yeah, the change, the change. Ah, that's amazing. We went, went to very spicy, didn't we? Oh, well, I remember when Yeshua came to me before we did our mission, um, the the last mission with the with the ship. He says, David. He goes, everything that you've done, it comes down to this. And you gotta, you gotta be everything that you are, everything that you've been, 
um, expanded into. And it was literally like, it wasn't just the last mission. It was the last one and this one. They're kind of combined. The last one was disengaging this crazy th ship on the sun and everything. And then we got the intelligence of all of their ships and their plans. And so we were able to literally isolate everything into this mission where we just poof, take them all because it's coming down to these dark ETs who are just been so stubbornly holding the earth hostage all of these mm -hmm. eternities and so finally we're able to stop them it's a big deal it's a very big deal i think and, i think the first one we were lucky we got their data basically we got all yeah. the information that was mm -hmm. that was very lucky i think but look that's life in it yeah. Well, they weren't expecting us to like secretly go on their ship and disable their defenses and everything. Like it was such a, a beautiful mission, really. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll stop the live stream and we'll just thank everybody for participating. And um, you guys are all heroes. Hey, hey, anyone got the uh, stuff weaponry in the art chakra? I don't know. It might stay with you. Or it might just go back to the. Uh... The angelic world, I just don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, and get do a lot of grounding after this. Yeah. Yeah. But don't worry, do everybody's, everybody's being healed and cleared and everything's gonna be fine. So don't worry about anything. This was like everyone's you, being you might, celebrated right yeah. now. Mm. You might feel exhausted. It's not exhaustion as such, it's just the emotions that are what's happened. Quite a big thing. And you've had loads of different downloads. You, you you might have your power back, you might have download some different beings but a different source being so yeah uh, well, that is yeah mm -hmm. thank you david that was interesting and don't forget to subscribe to phil's youtube the links above <laughs> we have a lot of different missions on there and stuff so there's a lot of cool stuff to check out we have thousands years. and thousands <laughs> sure feels like it I, it felt like it yeah, I've got an Orion one on there, but it's uh, unlisted. So. Yeah, you should keep that Private. one unlisted. <laughs> World's not ready for it, yeah. No, no. It might bring them back. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, we don't want to go back there, that's for sure. No. There's a couple missions that we've done, actually, that I've just deleted because they're just it was just so, like, dense that I didn't want anybody to see it. The Orion one was one. Uh, that hell mission was the other one. I don't know if you remember that one when we went on that. Um, mm. there might have been one more. I think there was like three of them that I'm just like, no, I don't want anybody ever watching this, mm. just because like there's just too much risk. But I knew that we were so protected on this mission with all of heaven and the entire Earth Alliance that I wasn't worried either. I mean, it's all or nothing at this point. I mean, we had to do this now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. All right. All right. We'll say goodbye to Facebook. And um, thanks. Thank for you for helping everyone. Yeah. yeah Ground yourself. Sir. Drink water. Funny. See you guys. <laughs>